Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on how to create an FFF temperature tower for new materials in Fusion 360. For those who aren't aware, a temperature tower is a repeating vertical structure whereby during printing, the printing temperature is changed in steps, usually of 5 degrees or so. This is so that one can see what the temperature is most suitable for a material by judging the temperature which produces the best print quality. You don't have to worry about doing this for the materials already supported in Fusion 360. We have already included an optimum set of print settings for those materials for which printing temperature is included. This is rather for those who want to use a material that isn't yet supported in Fusion 360 or just simply trying to refine their own material print settings as best they can. Either way, let's jump into it. In case some of you are wondering what a temperature tower model looks like or where to get one, you don't have to worry. We have created one for you already in Fusion 360. Navigate to the CAM sample folder in your data panel, then to additive manufacturing, find FFF temperature tower and open this project. Opening the project, we are presented with the model alongside some images and text. We can see moving through the names views, we have a description of what a temperature tower is used for, along with an explanation of how to edit your text on your print tower for testing. This temperature tower tests bridging, stream control, overhangs and surface quality at different temperatures. We can also see some embossed text on the model. This is for our reference, so when we print the model, we know what the temperatures changes were and what heights they were changed at. So now, let's decide on the printing temperatures and intervals and edit the embossed text. For this example, I will be creating a temperature tower for the virtual boundaries copper filament. I will start at 195 degrees Celsius and step up 5 degrees every 10 millimeters. This means we will finish on a temperature of 225 degrees Celsius. Note, the 10 millimeters is defined by the repeating structure height within the temperature tower. This height is 10 millimeters at the moment, but I will show you later how to change this. Now we'll enter the manufacturer workspace and create our FFF setup. The next step is to select our machine. Then our print setting, remembering to turn off support. And then generate our toolpath. We'll simulate to make sure everything looks right. Once we think everything looks okay, we will post process. Here I am using the new post processing dialog named NC program and this can be enabled under the preview features in our preferences here. Navigating to our post processor properties, we can see we have a collapsed temperature tower section. Expand and you will see the relevant temperature tower settings. Fill out the correct information which we have embossed on the model as a reference. Now, as I said earlier, the trigger value will be calculated from the height of the repeating structure in our model. I have linked this to a user defined parameter here, and so we can change this value as per our preference. Let's change it and see what happens. Okay, so we have seen by changing this user defined parameter, we were able to update our model accordingly. Now, for those of you who are very perceptive, you might have also noticed the embossed text on the top of the model update. As I mentioned in the beginning, this text tells us the height of the repeating structure of the temperature tower. We are able to link this text to the parameter so that it updates when we change it. This then helps us to enter the correct information in the temperature tower post processor properties. We are able to do this by downloading the parametric text add-in from the App Store. Having downloaded the app, you can access the parametric text functionality through the modified tool group in the design workspace. You can see how I've set the trigger height text 
to our trigger height parameter. There's a lot you can do with this add-in, such as create parametric text for the Fusion 360 file version number, or the current date as an example. Read the documentation online for more information. Back to post-processing, we'll finish off entering the temperature tower information and click post. Great, we've just posted a temperature tower G-code file for our material. Run the print and enjoy the results. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Stay tuned for more videos. If you have any questions, you can reach us at the Fusion Manufacturer User Forum at forums.autodesk.com.